My mother really wanted me to be a plumber, but anyhow, I ended up as a civil engineer. And um, I worked as a civil engineer, and I wasn't too unhappy with it. I was at the Building Research Institute in Pretoria. Pretoria is a place that someone once described as the largest cemetery he knew with lights, so I wasn't too mad about Pretoria. And the politics was tricky, and then I came, um, I went to Israel for a year, and I worked as an engineer there. Then I got a scholarship to work at Imperial on soil mechanics. Now, I want to tell you, well, I was in Soho in the 50s. You're all too bloody young to know what that means. <laughs> but it was quite easy. To be a civil engineer working on soil mechanics was not very sexy. <laughs> and my friends knew about this. And one of them was getting married in South Africa and had to get out of the house. And he went to the local library. And he found an article there where Swan and Mitchison, two biologists in, in Edinburgh, were looking at the mechanics of cytokinesis, how the cell, you know, divides into two. And he said, Lewis, this is what you must work on. And that's what I did. I managed to get a scholarship from the Nuffield who wanted people to change from the physical to the biological sciences and so forth. I started working on sea urchin eggs and I fell in love with cells. And once I started working on eggs, that's what I worked on in order to look at the mechanics of cleavage. In fact, I still think I'm right. In fact, I was in the library today looking up papers to show that my PhD from 47 years ago is still correct. Though that's another story, as you well know. And then, while working on search and eggs, I learned about embryos. Now, it is, I'm sorry, it still amazes me, and should you, you come from one single cell. You don't look like it. One single cell, the fertilized egg. It's absolutely amazing. I also have been in love with cells. I'm not an evolutionary biologist. Yet, but evolution is, is absolutely based on development in multicellular organisms. It's how development changes that brings about evolutionary change. And I think cells are wonderful. And somebody once said, what is it? You work on pattern formation and form. What is it that fascinates you? I said, it's maybe because my nose is too big and some of my genitals are a bit small and I want to understand this. 